Welcome to I Love Stocks, and today I want to talk about three penny stocks that are on my watch list. SHMP, ABUS, and Genius. A-B-U-S and G-N-U-S. So let's go ahead and go straight into Genius, being as I try to be a genius every once in a while. Ha ha. I noticed that old Shacky Poo was on one of the big shareholders. I like Genius a lot. I mean... It's had its ups and downs, but there's a lot of big-time investors involved in this stock, and it's starting to move again. So let's go ahead and go straight to the chart. I do like the fact that old Shaq's on here. He's a big-time shareholder. It was in the news on the 9th. They were at a LD Micro conference December the 15th, and that is today. So that thing's going to be running a little bit. Let's go ahead and Look at the chart right now. I think we have more room to run up on it. Let's go ahead and pull this to the 20 day. I've got a well, let's take it a little bit farther than that. We'll go here on a year. I've got a couple resistance levels. We are we did hit a hard resistance down here, and I got a support channel that's no lower than 165 or 150 something. Let's go ahead and pull this up on the. Let's see if I can find it on the 20 day, the support channel. Right in here. I think if it does pull back, we do have another support right here too at 170. I can't leave that out. I'm going to go ahead and call that my third support. If it does pull back to that 170 level, I doubt it because we're going to go ahead and we're starting to break out here into the morning. We're at 211 right now. The next target up here is right around 220. If it falls back, we do have three white soldiers right here. That's another impressive move there on the hour. Uno, dos, tres. So we could pull back to right now. Being as I'm going to change my support level here. This is a strong buy between 155 and 164. A real strong buy. If it does knife and go to 170, that's going to be your third support. Then you've got your, your second one here at 178 and that first one at 190. Now, it can pull back and adjust to either of these three candles. A lot of times I like to see it pull back to this first one right here. So we're going to put a $2 support on that. And I'll be scalping this in the morning. I think it can run, I know it can run up to 221. And we're going to look at a little few more resistance levels here on the yearly. Let's see if we can go to the six month. Magnify this up a little bit. Nope, we got to go to the year. Our next resistance levels on this trade, after we break the 221, will be 243, and then maybe up in this area right in here, right around the 260 spot. So let's go over this trade one more time. We got resistance levels to break, and I've got a target for 221, 243, and then the 260 area. And that's probably where I might exit. My entry level, we'll take it back to the 20, one hour. It'll either be right around this $2 area for the first support, second one will be $190, and that third one will be $178 with a strong buy down here at $170. And then if it does dip in this channel, that's where I'll start loading up to go long. And that's going to be genius. Let's take another look at another stock that I want to watch, that I am in, and that's going to be shrimp. Let me find this here. I'm long on shrimp. Let's change this here. SHMP. See if there's any news on it. Multi market responding to uncertain now. The stock sector. Let me see if I got the right ticker. No, I don't. Natural Shrimp Incorporated. We're at 2448. We're at a resistance level. It went up 25% yesterday. Natural Shrimp finalizes joint venture with Ecopanac Systems International LLC. Now, I did a video on this last week, and I said this sucker could pull back a little bit. But I think we're, we're moving up higher, and let's go ahead and look at the chart. Let me see what one I got here I want to look at. We'll just put, this is my Fibonacci chart, automatic Fibonacci chart with a TTM squeeze. S-H-M-P. We're definitely up here right around the 25 area. There's no motion in it right now. It's probably not going to be because it's a penny stock. I have a low support right down here at 2102. Let's go ahead and break this down on a daily one 
minute, see if I can find anything in here. See this little level right in here where we had that J hook pattern that she took off? That could be your first good support level right there between 2226 and 2238. I'm going to color that in a little bit. And that's going to be like a little spot that I want to probably take the trade or add on to it or scalp it. I'll be scalping it from here on out with a core position at 10 cents. And then we got another support level right about it. See, this is kind of juggly right in here. So I'm going to find an equilibrium in between that path, and that's right around the 23 cent area. This is genius. And I'll tell you where I think we're going to take this trade to. We've got a break resistance, and we did that this morning right here at 25. I got a target of 27. Let me see here. We got a target of 27.29. And if we can, this is a real hard resistance right here. If we can break past this 27.29 area, we got 35.74. That's another six cents bounce. And then real strong up here on the 50% retracement off of this here fat cat finger at 43.41. Now let's go ahead and pull this back to the to the uh, 20 day. I see a strong support right here at 21.02 to hold. That's going to be an ascending triangle. And I think that'll be a strong support if it does decide to knife. Your next support area is going to be, like I said, right around that 2230 area. Then you got to 23, and then you have the 2406. Those are your three supports with a strong buy at 21. Now, shrimp, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the website here. Let me see here. They just got through building this big 40,000 square foot facility in Texas, and that's going to triple their impact on the shrimp. There's approximately one ton of shrimp ate every day, which equals to about 4.1 pounds per person. And there's 330 million people in, in America. I had shrimp last night, and I'll show you what I had here. Let me see if I can find it. Give me just one second. This is what I had for dinner last night in Mexican joint that I really like. I like to add my shrimp into my meals. This here was just, especially after what I did with shrimp yesterday, I went out and had me a shrimp meal. This was just marvelous, and they just had this brand new table put down, too, for me, and I loved it. This is my regular eating place here in Springfield, Missouri. So Jimmy likes shrimp. Likes it a lot. I eat it mm, once a month, about every other, about twice, three times a month. So let's go ahead and look at the next stock, and that's going to be ABUS. We're going to pull up Wahoo Finance and see if there's anything big about ABUS in here. A bus is on the move. In fact, I want to say Genius, I think, is in, in talks of maybe a buyout. And wouldn't that be nice if if uh, if Disney decided to go ahead and buy out Genius? And that stock would double. It would be a 100% gain. So any pullback from here, I would maybe consider a small investment. Now, A bus, let's see if there's anything in the news on it. Implied volatility surging on A bus stock. And this came out 20 hours ago. So the implied volatility, if you don't know what that is, check it out. I just want to go ahead and pull up the website and have a look at it real fast. These are just steps I take when I am want to get familiar with the stock. It's positioned to transform the HBV treatment landscape to address the HBV global. I think this had something with hepatitis B, but I'm, I can't quite remember. Yeah, it was a hepatitis B. That's what I liked about this stock. You know, I have had a friend that has hep has had hepatitis, and it's not a pretty sight. Sometimes you can get it on accident, blood transfusions, back in the early 70s before they started really going through the blood. 
and that's how he thinks he got it. But you never know, you know, dirty needle, whatever it takes. So let's go ahead and look at the stock. We'll check out a bus. A bus is at a critical level right here. If we can break this resistance level at 487, we'll go ahead and move up to the races. I got it off these two triple tops, so we did kind of have a triple top break on the yearly chart. I've got this charted up. These are my extended trend lines. The dotted ones are just the recent ones that I've done this year. The solid ones are the ones that I've done at the beginning of the year, and then I switched over to the, but I, I dot these out differently every year, and I'll be changing my trend line into 2021, a different color. I go back and look at these, and all my red line resistance levels are places that are real strong that I want to get to. Now, I use these same extended trend lines year after year if I can still read the map, and right now it's starting to get a little bit difficult to read the map. But I think our next resistance level is going to be right up in here at 544. And if we can break that, we'll go higher. Now I'm going to try to find a support level also. Um, use the bodies of the candles. So we got around a 545 resistance level to break. Now this thing can pull back to support level. And that's going to be right here at 431. I'm adjusting this chart right now. 431 will be your low support. And then you got a pivot point in this area right here right around the 452 so that's how we're going to look at this trade we've got different support levels and let's go ahead and pull this up to the 20 day remember hard resistance to break 545 let's go ahead and bring this back to the 20 day we've got a low support let me look at this let's see we got a little bit of choppiness right in here I'm thinking maybe right there around 385, but that's way too low. So let's go ahead and stick with this low support here at 430. Then we've got another one right here at 452. And then that first one, or that, yeah, that first one right here, right at 471. It can pull back to the 487 and bounce up, break resistance at 508. And then we have a target of 545. And that's a bus. This thing can go higher. But I think it's might be it did have a triple top, so keep that in mind here at that 508 area. Keep that in mind. Let me let me look at that yearly one more time. I might have gave you the wrong number there. 487 was the triple top, so that could be your solid support. I'd like to see that hold on the triple top. That would be real nice if that held. We still have momentum to take it to that 545 level. And then if that breaks at 619, see right here where we had that 619. That's gonna be a bus. Hope you enjoyed the penny stock video today. It's come from I Love Stocks. We do post alerts on Twitter. So if you like to hit that follow button, follow us on Twitter. We're gaining followers day by day. And I think that's it for I Love Stocks. Y'all have a great day and let's kick it today.